from Japan and I want to ask a question about the evolution that is uh, I learned in my high school as a scientific fact but I found out that in Islam it is like the prohibited thing so it is haram to think about the evolution because uh, in Quran it is said that God created a human and also there the, we have a Pokemon in my country, but <laughs> in Saudi Arabia or UAE or Qatar, it is there the, the, the fatwa was issued that the Pokemon is prohibited. So I feel so, uh, I was wondering why it is so sensitive topic about the evolution and how the Muslim What is prohibited? It. The Pokemon, sorry, I don't understand the word. <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, I just, I, I, I just, what is prohibited, you said? Uh, the, the concept of evolution. Concept of evolution. Yes. Evolution. So I was wondering why it is so sensitive topic and how the Muslim people are deal with it. That, deal with so still that. asks a very common question. And like her, even I studied in my school and university about the Darwin's theory that human beings have been evolved from ape. Sister, if you analyze what we learned in school was Darwin's theory. The theory of evolution. There is no book I have read so far called, which is titled The Fact of Evolution. It is theory of evolution. And in the beginning of my talk I said, I will not be talking about theories and hypotheses because many a times theories and hypotheses take your turn. If you read this book of Darwin by the name of Origin of Species, and it says in this book that Darwin, he traveled to an island by the name of Calatropus, and on a ship by the H my ship by the HMS Beagle, and he saw that the birds they pecked in niches, and depending upon the niches they pecked, the beak became long and short. Based on this, he propounded his theory of natural selection. And Darwin himself knew that there were missing links. There were missing links. That's the reason in our school. If we had to insult someone, we used to say that if you were present at Darwin's time, his theory would have been proved right, insinuating that the person looks like an ape. What Darwin said, and wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson, that he doesn't believe in natural selection because he has got inevitable proof. It helps him in classification, and it helps him in describing. There were missing links. Today we know that there are four types of hominoids. We have the Australopithecus, we have the Cro-Magnon, we have the Neanderthal man, and we know that there is no direct link between them. And according to P.P. Grasse, who held the chair of the study in the Chaudhon University in Paris, he said, it is letting your imagination run too wild to claim that our ancestors were apes just based on study of few vestiges, this is just an assumption. Because there is no knowledge of the fact, we are taught Darwin's theory as though it's a fact. Further, if you read in the theory of molecular biology, Hans S. Craig, the scientist says, it is absurd to think that our DNA was formed from apes. And there are many scientists, if you go to a website, you just type scientist against Darwin theory, you will find more than a thousand scientists who have signed that they disagree with Darwin's theory. More than a thousand. But because they don't know the fact, it is yet taught as though it's a fact. So there are missing links. And according to various scholars and various scientists, they say the probability of you know, the DNA of human being coming from ape is like a tornado coming in a yard and, and all the scraps being kept. The tornado comes and goes away and a jumbo jet 747 has been created by the... And what are the chances? The other scientists say that if you pick up millions of letters and you keep on putting one 
any picking up at random and placing them, an encyclopedia of thousands of pages will come into order with exact meaning and definition. The chances are less than that. So all these are hypotheses, sister. Today, the science doesn't agree that Darwin's theory is a fact. But because they don't have an alternative, they teach it as a fact. And in our school, we have a school, Islamic International School, and it's an international school from the IGCSE syllabus. And even we have to teach Darwin's theory because they're in the syllabus. So we tell our Muslim students, we teach them exactly what is there in the book. So the teacher correcting doesn't think that a student don't know about Darwin's theory. So we write the answer, full answer, then we write but. Then we mention, according to latest research, then they give the answer, blah, blah, blah. So they write a double answer. First they write exactly what is mentioned in the textbook. Then we write the other research. So no teacher can say that the student doesn't know. And then we give the right facts of so many scientists have said, blah, 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 blah. And if you hear my tape, there is a detailed answer which is only given on, on this chair of evolution. This, in short, I hope that mm, yeah. the answer the question. It's only a theory, it's not a fact. We believe that, alhamdulillah, the human beings have been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the first man on the face of the earth is Adam, peace be upon him. And from that, the humanity was created. That's called the creation, not the evolution. Hope that answers the question. But that doesn't mean that everything what Darwin said is wrong. Darwin said that everything is made from water, which the Quran says. So that doesn't mean everything what Darwin says is wrong. Only that assumption that we have been created from ape is wrong. But many things Darwin said is right about human, that the living creatures are made from water, that there are certain changes in behavior, etc. Yes, we agree with that. But to say that we have been created from A based on this assumption is totally wrong. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Mm -hmm.